of a kind. So this is Monsters Papillon, and this is Mango Loco. I think I've covered Mango Loco in the past. Um, it's probably one of my favorites of theirs. Uh, right there up with Lemonade Tea, the rehab version of it anyway. It's you know, a little too sweet for everyday drinking, but you know, every once in a while, right up there. Uh, so Monster Energy is a series of energy drinks similar to Red Bull. They've been around since 2002. You know, they market in similar uh, venues, whether that be racing, MMA, skateboarding, extreme sports in general. Uh, unlike Red Bull, though, uh, they have much more palatable flavors. You know, uh, Red Bull, they're OG. That's still around, but uh, they have, like, seasons now and, like, colors. And they don't taste like Red Bull, so I guess uh, Monster is doing a pretty good job of uh, eating away at their market share. Anyway, getting on to this guy, they have uh, some blurb in Japanese, and I do believe it's also the same for their foreign, uh, English-speaking, sorry, uh, regions, but they refer to uh, the, the butterfly effect, so, uh, you know... A butterfly flaps its wings, uh, and somewhere else there's a typhoon. So, you know, similar to... This drink is named after the butterfly effect, and just like the butterfly effect, don't underestimate it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, marketing blurb. I wonder if there's any on here. Oh, yeah. Why don't you know it? Uh, okay, it's been a while since high school Spanish, but uh, the day of the dead. Um, uh, hence all the... The skeletons. Uh, Mexico's version of Halloween, where you revisit your lost relatives. I think the movie Remember Me was supposed to be based on that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, a, a whole lot of blah. Anyway, I will have the ingredients on screen. Um, they are somewhat similar, um, but, you know, not exactly the same, but they are supposed to be fruit flavored, so. Let's pop both of them, I guess. Hope I can do this. Uh, that's certainly an interesting smell that's coming from, I don't know which. Uh, all right, we'll start off with what I know. This is very sugary, or at least it's sweet, anyway. It smells very mango, very tropical. You know, the kind of fragrance I, I prefer. Anyway, bottoms up. Yeah, um, I, I get a little bit of mango, but it, it's a whole medley of fruits, so it's kind of hard to just pinpoint one flavor. That is good. All right, next off, Papillon. Yeah. I get peach more than anything, but it does supposedly contain mango as well. So anyway, let's give it a try. Huh. Okay, there's a... I don't know if he was a writer or a philosopher. There's a guy named Wiesel. I hope that's how I'm pronouncing, or how you're supposed to pronounce it. Uh, he said the opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. And then Taylor Swift kind of used that in one of her songs, the lyrics. You know, it isn't love, it isn't hate, it's just indifference. I borderline love this one. This, this is very good. This I'm just kind of indifferent to. Yeah, so, you know, if you want to read a really old book or listen to, like, an album from, uh, I don't know how many years ago, maybe, like, four or five years ago, take your pick. It isn't love, it isn't hate, it's just indifference. All right, till next time, drinks on me.